Fiocra. Fiocra? Fiocra? Fiocra. Welcome to St. Fiocra's Farm. We thought we'd take you on a tour this week and tell you a little about our farm and what we do here and what we're all about. Do you like being on the farm? Yeah. Lyons, what's your favorite part about living on a farm? Taking care of animals. Animals, what's your favorite animal? Rabbits. Who's your favorite animal on the farm, Faith? I think I'll pick maybe lambs. And do you like maybe... lambs? Hi, little bitty. Are you coming to say hi? Minus, what's your favorite food that we grow? Strawberries. Strawberries. Faith, what's your favorite food that we grow? Carrots. Carrots. Tell me two things about St. Fiacre. He was a farmer. What's the name of our farm? St. Fiacra's farm. Are you sure? It looks like <laughs> Fiacre or Fiacre. <laughs> it's French. Do you have to roll your R? Fiacre. I don't. Oh, there. Good job. Something like that. Say it again. One more time. My tongue is going to hurt. <laughs> Fiacre. Good job. On our farm, we grow in a 40 foot long by 20 foot wide polytunnel. We call it our greenhouse and we can grow almost year round in here. At the moment, there's not the in here because it got a break over the winter, which actually ended up being a good thing because we had a pill bug infestation. Every time it got wet, there were pill bugs that would come and eat all of our seed starts. And so nothing would start directly in the garden boxes, but we put the chickens in there and they do what they do best and they ate all of the bugs. We're going to start planting in our greenhouse today. So we use the greenhouse to grow in because our soil is full of clay and that's not so great for gardening. So we have these grow boxes in here and we have good soil that we hauled in and put in them and we can plant in them without worry. And we also have a greenhouse because it gives us a chance to start growing earlier in the season and also later in the season, which gets us all the way through the year. And it works a lot better than trying to grow outside in the clay. wondering why do we do this? It looks like a lot of work. It is more work than going to the grocery store unless you take four children with you and then that's up for debate I think. One reason we do this is for health benefits. We're growing organic produce. We know where it came from. We know its story and we know the soil that it grew in and we get to walk right out here and cut a little bit of spinach for our salad every night when we're ready to have salad. Mm -hmm. Two, another reason we do this is it's great physical exercise. There's no need for the gym when you're out here planting. Three is for education. The children get to learn how their spinach comes to their salad from the seed to the soil to their plate. They also get to learn the responsibility of watering the plants, shutting up the greenhouse, making sure everything is taken care of. Four, it's also great spiritual lessons. If you recall in the Bible, the sower who sowed the seed in the good ground, it's really hard not to think about God when you're gardening. I thought of one more great reason that we grow our own food 
is because it's something we can do together as a family. Down at the farm, you have to have animals. the hose in there. Now you might be wondering, what is all that noise out there? Over here we have our garage project which the farmer is building and it looks like the walls for the first level are complete. Morning. Working on one of the more exciting parts of my project here. We're standing this beam up today. Right now we're getting it ready to go. Um, it's a 23 foot laminated beam, a glue lamb beam. And uh, uh, the goal here is to cut it to the right size and then raise it up spans the garage addition here. And I don't have any fancy tools to do this job, so we're gonna do it like a farmer. Um, but now we've put some, some straps on here and uh, we've hooked them up to the top up there. <clears throat> so we're just gonna slowly ratchet this thing up. Here we are, I've got this beam up three feet off the ground or so now. We're making progress. As you can see, now I need a ladder to get up. That's probably about my head height right now. And uh, we're just slowly but surely walking our way up to the ends here. Looks like we've got a supervisor here. Came to check out the beam that we're putting up. I don't know what she thinks she's doing anyway, but I don't know, maybe chickens know something about beams. Anyway, look at that. We got this end in. It's sitting up where it needs to be and uh, fits pretty well. All right, we got our uh, beam up in place. And then we're going up and that's where we will build our tea studio. Down on the farm, we hand blend loose leaf tea. We grow some of the herbs here on our farm. A lot of lavender, blackberry leaf, mint, 
herbs that we don't grow for our tea we get from other farms such as Mount Hope Farms or Cleaner Farms in Staten and several other farms. And what we don't get local, we buy from other bulk herb companies and they're always organic, always all natural. So thanks for joining us on the farm this week. We hope you enjoyed the tour.